Today's heat was so miserable and unbearable, making a trip to the beach didn't really help all that much. Uh -uh. KCALINE's Elsa Ramon live tonight with a look at how they're coping along the coast. Elsa. Well, Jeff and Susie, right now, it's actually great. Uh, there could be worse places we could be tonight, but right now, really nice. Earlier today, though, a lot of people escaped from the inland areas to the beach areas, and the people who live here today told me that there wasn't much relief along the coast either. Finding refuge from today's brutal, record-breaking heat was tough, even on the typically cooler west side. Edward Johnson lives in the marina, but says today that didn't help him much. It was extremely hot today. It was. That's why I stayed inside. <laughs> You're one of the lucky few with air conditioning. Right. Well, thank God you for air. <laughs> Still, it was a lot better for Edward's buddy Pete, who escaped the temps in Whittier today. I actually left to come over here about 4:30, and when I got in the car, it was 1:04 on my uh, car dash and so when I got out here it cooled down to under 100. Many plan on making the trek to our local beaches over the next two days of this heat wave for relief and because of that the National Weather Service tweeted out a warning of elevated surf and dangerous rip currents. Inland this fall heat wave prompted the LAFD to issue a citywide red flag warning. Beginning at 8 a.m., all vehicles parked in posted locations within the very high fire hazard zones will be towed by the city. I hope it's the last one. I'm ready for winter, kind of. <laughs> yeah, really, after we broke those records today, we didn't want to break. I think a lot of people are ready for winter. The L.A. County Health Department, by the way, has issued a heat alert for tomorrow, they posted cooling stations for LA County on their website. Also, the fire department has listed those areas where you are not supposed to park after 8 a.m. tomorrow. We have all of those locations on our website at cbsla.com. Jeff and Susie, back to you. All right.